I will take the slimes and turn them into the most respected race in Minecraft. Why, why are you all being attacked? Hey, what gives? Hey, what's going on, guys? Log Dad Zip here. I'm huge. Look at me. I'm literally the biggest thing in the land. Look at its size. Nice. Nobody's going to mess with me. They call me the slimiest of all. I, <laughs> they don't call me that. But I am, in fact, huge. This is slime armor in Minecraft. Honestly, why isn't this in Minecraft, you're asking? And what is with this giant mess all over the place? I'm, like, leaking slime right now. It's kind of gross. Well, you know, me and the boys, Fisk Phil, as well as Xavier, were wondering what we could add to Minecraft armor-wise to spruce things up a little bit. And we thought that slime armor was the way to go. Because right now, slime is mostly used for redstone. You can do some pistons. You can bounce with it. You know, there's some here and there stuff, right? Honestly, as an armor, though, you can do so much with it and in today's video we'll be showing you all the different features that slime armor might have if it were added to minecraft so stick around it's gonna be a good video and if you want to see other armors turned into my i mean <laughs> if you want to see other minecraft blocks turned into armor types or items for that matter you can let us know in the comment section of this video and we have a chance at making it for you so you can see it in the video that said make sure you like and subscribe as well as hit the bell be notified of these videos right as they come out and shouts out to the boys like i said both their links in the description of this video now the way you create slime Slime armor is simple enough. All you need to do is get yourself some slime blocks. As you can see here, slime armor, of course, crafted with your slime blocks. And uh, if you couldn't guess, you use it in a nice crafting table. And it's the exact same recipe as your armor that you're normally used to. So there's your slime helmet. Here's how you get a slime chest plate. Here's how you get your slime leggings. And then, of course, you gotta get those booties. Yeah, looking real good. Here's a slime helmet. We got the slime chest plate. You can see here on the little pop up menu, whatever it's called, there's a certain percentage percentage value associated with the chest plate. We'll get to that in a little bit. We got that, we got the leggings, and we got the boots. Now, we're gonna go into game mode zero, and you can hear, look, when we wear them, look, listen. Ah, ah, ooh -hoo. Oh, it's so much fun. I love making the noise. And when you walk around, you'll notice something a little bit different. Namely, you're quite bouncy now. I mean, you're pretty much covered in slime. In fact, you can actually see through the slime armor to look at what your armor looks like. Well, I should say your Minecraft skin. You can see what your Minecraft skin looks like when you're wearing the slime armor. It's so lovely. And look at this. Bouncing. Oh, so much fun. Now, now, if you happen to be wearing a full set of slime armor, you can actually pick up slime to grow like the slimes in normal Minecraft do as well. Now, in in order to pick up the slime, you'll actually just walk over it, but don't pick up too much, otherwise you'll learn the hard way, like I did, <laughs> says the sign. I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, hence this crater. What the heck? Crater. Interesting. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this, like, carpet-like height slime on the ground? Well, I mean, it's, it's slime. <laughs> you can actually punch it, and it will turn into a slime ball. Look at this. Oh, friendly. New ways to place your slime balls as well. Now, it gets even better, though. You can actually absorb this slime. I'm going to drop all six of these slime on the ground, walk right over it. Look what happens. Oh, we got a little bit bigger. And look, slime chest plate has gone up a certain percentage point. There are currently five slime balls that have been stored in this chest plate. And every time you walk around, you see, unless you're sneaking, you'll actually lose some more of that slime. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop the slime ball on the ground one more time. We're gonna walk right over to it, and then, look, you see? Nice, it got absorbed, but right as we picked it up, <laughs> we lost it once again. In fact, you lose all slime as you walk around until the slime is gone. So now we have zero slime stored in our chest plate. It's all over the ground. But again, the moment you walk by it, you can actually pick it up. It's kind of hard to keep a whole bunch of slime in your armor at once. So if you're trying to use the slime armor special abilities, you're gonna wanna stack a lot of slime. So what's the special abilities, huh? Well, allow me to show you the first one. This one's hard to miss. We have a whole bunch of slime here. In fact, we're gonna turn it all into slime balls. We have more than we'll ever need right here. I'm gonna drop full-blown stacks on the ground at once. I'm gonna walk right into it and absorb three full stacks of slime balls. Look what happens. Oh yeah, we're huge. We're actually huge. Like, look at me on the screen. I haven't seen this before. As you can see, we're at 99.48% filled with slime. And as we walk around, you will see the height discrepancy is real. You'll also know that the more we walk around, the more and more we actually start to shrink. You see, the more slime, the less tall you are. We're actually not even able to fit through some of these little areas here. But if we were to continue to run around, you'll be able to notice that we can. 
in fact. So watch, I'm gonna get rid of some more of this slime. You see, we keep shrinking down and down. Now we can make it in between that little hole. Isn't that just great? Like, this is so cool. <laughs> you leave a trail of slime wherever you go. Now, again, it's important to note that you won't be able to access every single area unless you're the appropriate height. So you might need to go ahead and like waste some of your slime if you want to try and get underneath certain areas like that. Curious though, how tall can we jump with no slime? This is with nothing on the chest plate. At the top of our head basically reaches right where the leaves end on this tree. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another full blown three stacks of slime. One, two, three. Now let's see how high we can jump up, huh? Tell you about it, tell you about it. Well, first of all, we're already taller than the tree itself at this point. We can jump right on top of that tree, ain't no thing. And the other cool thing is when you're this tall up, you don't even need to jump over blocks anymore. You'll actually walk over any blocks nearby, like you're a horse or something like that. It's, it's so nice. <laughs> Who needs auto jump? I got this, baby. Gosh, this place is messy. Now, as I did explain earlier though, you put too many slime balls on you, something bad happens. We're about to find out what right now. So, as you already knew, you get three full stacks of slime is about 100%. We're currently at 34.9%. Look what happens when we walk into two more full stacks. You ready? Look at this. Oh, what are we at? We're at 99 before eight. Okay, now watch. One more stack of slime. Check it out, 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 check it out. Yeah, things get a little bit explosive, huh? Whoa, where the heck am I? How did I get up here? No biggie. Wearing slime armor completely reduces fall damage to zero. You cannot take any fall damage when you've got your full blown slime armor on. It's really nice. I can't believe I just blew up though. <laughs> Now the nice thing is even when you do blow up, you actually get the slime balls back. So as you can see, we're almost back to full blown size, even though we died and <laughs> lost our balls all over the place. Anyways, let's move on, huh? You may have noticed that the slime is dropped on the ground, huh? Now sneak to stop this from happening. Again, if you don't want to lose slime wherever you're walking, you need to sneak in order to make that happen. Again, you can even sneak up of the blocks as well. So you're gonna be a little bit slower if you're trying to keep all your balls, but rest assured, if you don't need your balls, then just run around like a crazy person, huh? Yeah, who needs balls anyways? You can jump very high with slime armor. There's also great release. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna see if we can make it back up to that little area that we spawned on randomly. That was really random. Look at this. We've got like the ultimate jumping capability. I'm taller than these blocks I'm trying to reach. This is nice. This is really nice. Wow, we almost didn't even need the ladder. Oh, we didn't need the ladder. We didn't get to the ladder. Oh, best day ever. Look at that. Back up we go. We got slime all over the place. It's disgusting. Ooh, there's our target. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, get it. Oh, we kind of missed the bullseye. Well, whatever, huh? Now, according to this sign, you can deal more damage when you have more slime in you. Oh yeah, I like that. So, we're pretty big right now. We've got 56% of the chest plate ready. Now this husk has 100 hearts. See how many hits it takes to kill. We're gonna take off all the armor for the time being. You see the moment you take off the armor, you go back to regular size. I mean, it makes sense, right? We're gonna take out this husk without anything. So one, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 15 total hits with absolutely no strength boost. Now we're gonna put on all these, baby. We're at 100% slime rate. Now let's see what we do. One, two, I can't even reach him. Four, God, stupid. Five, five, can't count. Six total hits, six hits. We are three times stronger pretty much when we've got the full blown slime armor there. That's good. Moving swiftly on though, huh? The slime layers will slow down mobs. Let's see what it does to these speedy husks. So I'm gonna press this little button. Eh, look how fast these guys are. Except when they're on the slime, they slow down. Look at it, wow, they're actually very fast. <laughs> we gotta stay away from these suckers. Ooh. Check it out, check it out, check it out. We're gonna get them stuck on the slime. Look, they start to walk around. Hey, come on guys, leave me alone a little bit, would ya? They get nice and slowed down. Down. Now, it appears that you can use this in conjunction with the soul sand as well. See, here's what it looks like when they go on the walking on the soul sand. You see, it's actually more effective on the slime than it is on the soul sand. But you can, in fact, combine them, and it doesn't seem to actually do that much. <laughs> that is the last of the soul sand, pretty much. And as you can see, I, okay, well, there's, oh, come on. Well, whatever, it kind of worked, huh? Let's move on. 
<laughs> if we can. We're in the middle of this forest. I don't know if we'll be able to make it through. This is a long stretch of land to demonstrate the speed boost of the armor a little bit better as well. That's right. You also get a passive speed boost when you've got a nice full belly with slime all open. it. You see? It's not that much, but you do get a speed boost when you're wearing this thing. Look at that. Hey, moving around. Although slimes are kind of slow, so I can't say I really get it. But hey, at least we can climb up trees nice and easy, huh? Look, I'm George of the Jungle. I'm a funny man. And I'm modest, too. <laughs> Slimes will not attack you if you wear the armor. This makes it a lot easier to kill them and grow yourself. Again, you gotta be careful with the explosion. We're gonna go ahead and boom. Hey, what's good, bud? What's good, boys? Boys, boys, boys. Look, they can't, they, they love me. I am your leader. I will take the slimes and turn them into the most respected race in Minecraft. Why, why are you all being attacked? Hey, what gives? It's good, boys. We're gonna take it out together. You can all absorb into me. Feed me. Feed me! Uh, feed me! I want it! Ooh, I just spit everywhere. This is so much fun. I'm just turning left, turning right, giving a swipe, giving a little attack every direction. Oh, they're like my little baby. Then I kill. <laughs> and meanwhile, the pig's just like, I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, you should probably look away. It's just kind of disgusting. Now, if you're wondering why there's particle effects coming off of all these little precious baby slimes, it's because the slime armor also has a passive ability of poisoning nearby mobs, which you can see demonstrated right as we get near these guys. Look, look, instantly start poison. They got the nice, yeah, you can't do nothing about it. While wearing armor, mobs can be affected by poison. Unfortunately, this will not affect passive or undead mobs. Y'all get it. I don't, oh, come on. Come on, guys. I'm trying to do the showcase. Get out of my way. All right, to the next area over here. Now, what we have over here is a mob spawner. Dude, we can summon into the creepers right there. Look, there you go. That's not a creeper. What the? That is the opposite of, oh, yeah, you're hiding right. Yeah, yeah, I see you too over there, buddy. Now, if you manage to make a good mob farm, you can farm experience using creepers. Uh, I guess. So, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really get this part, but if we could, come on, can we, can you, uh, can we, oh, okay, sure, I, I, I can't say I exactly know what just happened, but, uh, no, that's fine, <laughs> oh, I'm running out of slime, I need to kill some of my youngins, mommy loves you little slimes, now get absorbed, yeah, anyways, if you're attacked, that mob will be hit with slowness too, that's right, another power, whenever you are attacked by ancient mob creatures, or just regular, age mob creatures they don't have to be ancient they'll all get hit with slowness so it's a good chance that once they attack you you won't be able to get any combos on you unless there happens to be billions of them like they're right now I, it's, no, I'm gonna die. yo honestly this is so much fun though just scaling i just love how big i am <laughs> the biggest in the land so yeah point is stay away from mobs or and, and if you happen to not well at least they get slowed down huh how close to slime armor compared to normal armor yeah i already got some of the armor let's see how it does over here though huh you stay away hey. so if you look at our current armor bar down in the below section near my heart you can see that we've got count them one two three four five and a half armor points now i'm gonna go ahead and take off all the armor and we're gonna see what we get with diamond instead well it's full it's 10 so needless to say diamond armor is still gonna be the armor of choice when you're looking for sheer defense however we're gonna summon some test dummies in and see how well they really do. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Get it. Oh, boy. Oh, not the witch. We gotta take the witch out right. Oh, gosh, with all the different mob types all over the place. Oh, you've been poisoned. Everything's going. Oh, I'm almost dead. Hey, worst day. Come on. Things I do. Oh, no, the blaze set the forest on fire. Hey, man, Smokey the Bear isn't here to save us. You gotta stop that. And our final bit of information about the slime armor is the fact that you can, in fact, enchant them as well using an enchanting table and using a whole bunch of levels. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and enchant some thorns on these guys, some props, some mending. We got it all, baby. All the way to take off the armor first. So, I'm going to take out the armor. Why don't we enchant our chest plate? Let's throw some protection on that, baby. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess we got to do it this way first. I'll go ahead and give it some unbreaking. Mm -hmm. We got the anvil game coming in strong. Thank you very much. But the 12 levels is a ripoff. It's a good thing I got creative mode. <laughs> try this again, huh? Oh, mending only takes, well, isn't that just nice, huh? Why don't we try and throw, oh, yeah, that can do it all, baby. Now we got mending, unbreaking, and thorns. 
Doesn't really make sense as to why we put unbreaking and mending on there, but you know who asked you guys anyway. And honestly, enchanted slime armor looks sweet. It's got like this slight little moving glow to it. Really cool. My friends, this has been slime armor in Minecraft. Imagine if this thing was added in game. There should be block types for every single armor, different different type of armor. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. But let us know in the comment section what armor you'd like to see created in Minecraft next. It could be of a block, it could be of an item, it could be of something that isn't in Minecraft right now. We will make it for you so you can see it in another video so a big shout out once again to fist fail as well as xavier for this amazing slime arm mod and world if you want to check out their channels will be linked in the description of this video if you enjoyed the video why not leave a like on it thank you so much for subscribing as well and i have my bell on me so just pretend i hit it okay and of course thank you so much to everybody who has decided to support us by picking up your log.zip merchandise so we're gonna leave things right there my friends again in the comment section let us know what army you want to see next have a good day see you tomorrow